Enzo, are you there, darling? It's been such a long time. What's the special occasion? Welcome, Eliza. I'll be speaking on my father's behalf tonight. Forgive me for being terse, but as you may realize, our business has two pressing problems. You've heard about the latest Skullgirl, I presume? A little, as much as anyone else. You're doing such a good job keeping her victims under wraps, dear. All I know is it's like poor Selene all over again. You have my sympathies, but I don't do funerals. That brings us to our second problem. The racket you're running. You think we didn't know? You've been skimming from all those blood drives, Eliza. There's no bigger sin than stealing from charity. Now, imagine if the public found out. So you're jumping at the chance to blackmail me. It doesn't pay to underestimate your partners, does it, darling? I take it you're not asking for a song. We both have our secrets to protect. I believe these two problems share one solution. You. Do you expect me to hunt the Skull Girl? <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry, but that's just not my scene. My place is on the stage. Don't underestimate us. We know damn well what you're capable of. You have a knack for tracking blood, just like we do for talent. Of course, we wouldn't send you out alone. That's where I come in. Cerebella here will ensure that everything goes smoothly. You can count on me. And don't worry, Vitaly. We'll nab that cat if we see her, too. That's my girl. As for you, Eliza, if you fail, we're going to have a conversation neither of us wants. Kill her! Kill her and bring me her heart, or you are finished in this town. You hear me? I will ruin you! Oh, Lorenzo. I hardly recognized you. You've grown so... Distinguished. At least now I can see why you're so desperate. You want to see desperate? Desperate is when I rip out your skeleton and see if it's more useful to me than you are! You should hurry before it comes to that. Forget the blood scandal. Your fans would be in mourning. The Medici's are breathing down our necks, but all they send along is this little girl? Is this supposed to be a joke? The Skullgirl must have made quite a dent in their numbers if they're forced to recruit from the circus. Vitelli could have sent anyone. I'm all it takes. You'll learn that the hard way if you aren't careful. That living weapon of yours may be a powerhouse in a hat, but that strength never belonged to you. What are you talking about? It's not that different from you and your parasite. Hush, hun. I'm impressed that you aren't completely in the dark, but I'm more interested in getting this job over with. Ma'am, I believe that we may have found our first lead. Too right. Something smells in a grave, that's for sure. Come, we have work to do. I can't believe we got in a fight with the princess of all people. We must look like a pair of hooligans. If she turned out anything like her father, I would not worry about it. Besides, it was entirely her fault for lumping us in with those mindless, slouching zombies. You would think royalty would recognize the value of proper posture. My, my. I thought all the dead were under the control of the Skull Girl. Yet you two don't seem to be. Finally, someone who pays attention. We're not under her control. Thankfully, she's nowhere near, either. What is this? Some kind of ventriloquist act? The girl's mouth ain't even moving. Trust me, I've seen better. 
Why are we even listening to this girl anyway? Time's a waste in. Wait a second! I thought you looked familiar! You're Eliza, aren't you? I've loved your singing since I was a little girl. And you still look as beautiful as you did then. Oh, that's so flattering of you, sugar. You are quite famous yourself. But I'm more interested in whether your friend remembers me. Figment? That means... It can't be. You should be dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? You're gonna blow your cover. Oh, don't worry. He's known me for a long time, sweetie. Leviathan, I know we've had our differences, but I must know if I can count on your support in these troubled times. Surely you've thought of reclaiming your rightful place as a Theon, just as I have. Or has the proud serpent I knew been reduced to a worm, digging his way through a rotten apple? My place is with those who share my ideals. Together we protect what we can. That has always been where I take my pride. And look where pride has led you. My life, on the other hand, has been rosy. Only by hiding your true nature that I can see that it has re-emerged. Whatever purpose has awakened you, you must be stopped. Someone who knows Our Lady, but not well enough to stay out of the way. That's cute. Time for your return trip to the Underworld, Worm! Leviathan, who in the world are these people? The diva you so admire is nothing more than a blood-drenched idol. In our time, she called herself Neferu, but we knew her as the Crimson Scourge. The others, mere lackeys. Hey, wait a... No one has called me that in ages. Oh, it brings back such beautiful memories. It is past time for us to catch up, Leviathan. It's been far too long. you could win, Leviathan. You've picked up some tricks, but still. It's a miracle you're moving at all, attached to that dead weight. I... I don't think we can beat them. Patience, my lady. For now, we must exercise discretion and withdraw. You ain't going nowhere, dead meat. How does she move like that? She ain't that fast. From what I could see, she and that parasite appeared to be moving you. A talent I didn't know they had, and one that could be useful if Leviathan understood who to serve. Try and remember that you're not the one in charge here, lady. I can assure you that interaction was strictly professional. 
Besides, you were the one who suspected them, dear. It was pretty obvious you wanted to catch up with your little buddy there. Your drama is not my drama. Understand? I think this one needs to learn some manners. Don't mind her, Horace. We were all that young once. In fact, she's a surprising amount of fun. It's already been such an eventful evening. Albus, the scent of blood is in the air. Start the car! You got it, boss. Man, what a dump. Why are we out here? This is the last place we'd find the Skull Girl. Because I smell something delectable. An aromatic trail of blood from one who should be but a mummy by now. Well, all I smell is fish. And all I see is a crappy looking Dagonian restaurant. Probably because that stupid hat blocks your view. Not like you know good food when you see it anyway. It's the cat burglar Vitaly wants! Eliza, we've got to grab her. Hey, you! You better hand over the life gem you stole from us. Finders keepers! Aren't five finger discounts the Medici way? Life gem? Great Osiris! Of all the stories, that was Lorenzo's secret? And now he's lost it to a thief? How funny! Tell me, is that the seasoning that makes your blood so piquant? I'm just aching to get a draw. May Bastet forgive me. I don't think so, crazy cat lady. All you're getting is hospital food. Yes, I am rich. Quiet on the set! Showtime! Cat world. I, I forgot, forgot how sweet, sweet the hunt was. I feel more alive than I have in years. Oh, boys, can you help me wrap up my leftovers? I'll be taking her to go. Let me out! Your trunk is for your junk, not me! Oh, we ain't letting the cat out of this doggy bag. takes care of that. I wonder how he'll get the gem out of her. I'd worry about myself if I were you. The life gem is a forgotten myth, and your boss will want to keep it that way. Watch it! I have the life that I do now because of Vitaly. You don't know a thing about the Medici. Your employers maintain a generous image, but if you knew the things they'll do for a profit, Excellent! Why are we at your place? Oh dear, did you really think I'd hand over a scrumptious little treat like her to that withered up old fool Lorenzo? Not really. I sort of thought you might double cross us. Oh my, it looks like you're a better judge of character than I thought. 
I did consider going along with Vitaly's game when he twisted my arm. But sitting on the sidelines, never to taste the thrill of victory? Pathetic. I'm keeping my cute new drinking fountain. But don't worry. Skullgirl or no, your friends won't be around to miss her. There's no way I'll let you do this. I've been waiting for an excuse to shut you up. Same here, clown. Let's go. You'll regret crossing paths with the Crimson Scourge. Sarabella, dear, I fear our duet ends here. Gaze into the face of your death! Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Books. But if you saw my resume, you'd know I was overqualified for that little job. Just try it. You're nobody. Just some nut job with a parasite. That lack of perspective is something I'll have to fix about the work. Well, I'll not miss her. I do so love blood fresh from the source. There's no comparison, even after tasting that of an immortal. I wonder what the blood of a skull girl tastes like. It would be easier to let her keep tearing at the Medici. But I'm not in this to let opportunities slip by. Not when I could claim her heart. Now, it's time to find her! All this blood in the air makes me nostalgic. I couldn't ask for a better invitation. Yeah, I always feel so cozy in places like this. I don't know, there's just something homey about the atmosphere. I just don't get you two sometimes. That depends. Do you take confessions? Neferu! So Leviathan wasn't just fooling. You should be dead. You deserve to be dead. But it ain't all bad. I did always dream about being the cause. Samson, after so long, I was hoping you had a change of heart. But it must be fate that we met tonight of all nights. Help me teach these cattle who their gods are again. You're the reason they hate us. The reason Delilah had to die. You're the one who ruined everything we had. So you say, but Delilah is in the distant past. Either way, she'd be only a memory by now. You could have an eternal queen. Yet you cling to that phantom. So, uh, question. Do I need to understand any of this? All I got was, she's evil. Got it in one, kid. Back in the day, her schemes just about trashed the whole damn world. Knowing this broad, the only reason she's here now is that she's gonna do it again using the Skull Heart. Humankind twists the facts of our lives into fairy tales. We grace them with our power as their champions, and they call us parasites, or reduce our brethren to mere tools. I'm just taking what has always belonged to us, dear. I know you're one self-obsessed piece of work, but... 
Things only turned out that way because of you. And no matter how you pretty it up, you're still talking about wrecking the world and enslaving people. I think I'm in over my head, but... Samson, we've got to stop her! It ain't happening, love. Step away from Madame Eliza. How amusing. Do you really think you can stop me, child? Let's gauge your worth as Samson's host. Watch and learn! Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Just a moment! She is not half the vessel Delilah was, and even Delilah was unworthy of you. The years have been cruel to you, but there's still time. Think about what you could become. Consider what I will achieve, with or without you. No, stop! Not now, kid. Not now. We've been beat. We gotta regroup. I know her. She ain't gonna wish on the heart. So the one thing we got is time. Odd. The sentence here, and this place is dry as a bone. Don't go chewing on anything, Albus. Uh, it's you who'd be on a menu, bird brain. It makes no difference. The power coursing through that heart is all that I need. I must thank the Medicis for sending me this way. You work for Lorenzo Medici? We had a fleeting association. It's over. His stink won't wash off so quickly. This chamber is lined with the corpses of Medici scum. I welcome a chance to add another. Girl, you are making a mess you can't clean up. You should have stuck the housework, love. Now, now. Her overconfidence only makes my job easier. I hope your lapdog knows he will be buried with his owner. <laughs>